So the first footage of the live action Attack on Titan movie has come out. So this is a huge anime, probably even way bigger than the manga that it's based on. And a lot of people have been waiting for this. We've seen previews through uh, Subaru ads, pictures of the characters, but now real live footage. Let's take a look. Oh shit. Yeah, so one of the best parts of Attack on Titan is how the aesthetics. It looks incredible. The the costumes are they have this really unique style that's all their own. I mean it's it's kind of verging somewhat on a steampunky type world, but it's definitely their own aesthetic. This is amazing. I have no idea what Titan is. Okay, I'm so Attack idiot. on Titan, uh, it's incredible. You should watch it. It's what I'm wearing on my shirt right now. So it's a future <laughs> in which um, People had believed they were safe from these, these huge monsters. They look like humans. Um, the really big ones look like humans with no skin. Um, and they eat people. And so basically they, there are people that have lived behind walls and walls and walls of these cities. They think they're fine. They're not fine. They get breached. And then their, uh, their forces, their militaristic type forces, get kind of wiped out. Eventually younger people are running, this, uh, running the, the military forces. And it's kind of a disaster, and we discover like what, what what's going on with these titans? Where did they come from? What are they? Um, and it's it's really good. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, it's very seldom that you see like a new awesome aesthetic emerge in a movie, or or I mean even in like a Subaru <laughs> commercial. If you saw that Subaru ad, holy crap! But it just it floored me. It felt like, and I don't want to overstep here. It felt like that Matrix, the first time I saw the Matrix, where it was just like the camera spun around. Just like the scale of the Titans. I feel like it's background. built for it has for, for film. Like yeah. the, the spectacle in it, it, it looks incredible. And it, it also, it reminded me, like if you look at the stills, it reminds me a lot of uh, certain movies. Um, the Edge of Tomorrow in the US, it had that same kind of gritty uh -huh. future apocalypse where the last people left, we have to fight kind of vibe. I loved it, and I think certain anime definitely definitely lend themselves to live action very well. Um, do you watch anime, Brett? Do you I have don't. an idea? I have. I don't. I have. I have no idea about it, and that's one thing that I never really. Uh, by and large, it's not something that I will spend a lot of time watching. But uh, when I do, there's there's a handful of things that I have seen. I just I wish there was a source where I could see more of it. Well, have I got an idea for you. So something we're offering right now to fans of Nerd Alert and uh, across the TYT network is this offer from Crunchyroll, which provides premium anime, ad-free, 1080p quality, professionally subtitled, and you can get a premium subscription for 30 days free if you go to crunchyroll.com slash TYT. And you would get all of this. You can watch in anim anytime, anywhere, on all your devices. And the new anime, you would be able to watch one hour after the premiere in Japan, which is way better than what you would find maybe on a torrent site or, or somewhere, you know, not quite so legal. This is legit. Yeah. It is high quality. And you can get 30 days for free now uh, of the premium service at crunchyroll.com slash TYT. I'm excited for this. Yeah. Finally, we get this sponsor that I'm all about. That's cool. No, I've seen it. It's on. I have it on Apple TV, and it's on the Sony, uh, you know, smart TVs. Uh -huh. Oh, cool. So now I know what that is. Yes, and now you can check it out for damn free, sir. Yeah, that sounds like a great price. So what I would say, um, what I think I would love to see as a live action film is actually one that is offered on Crunchyroll, which is Naruto. So we talked about uh, the the finale on the manga a while back, and we are now watching uh, the tale end of Shippuden. I'm sorry, you don't know what I'm talking about. No, it's about, great. But, I'm very But interested. you definitely will. Um, so right now there is a stage show going on in Japan based on the manga and anime. And it looks, I mean, the pictures look great. But if you take a look at some of the fight scenes, um, I don't know if it transfers to the stage. I mean, you get a lot of freedom in animation. And you get a lot of freedom in uh, filmmaking. 
but I don't know if it lends itself that well to the stage. There's lots of trampoline bouncing that Fine I don't that. remember in the original show. <laughs> no, it's very weird. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the effort, but I don't know if this is the best medium. Maybe a live action movie is called for. There you go. I don't know, I, I wanna do trampoline bouncing now. <laughs> well, sure. You can go to the trampoline gym, which we are not sponsored by. Oh, boring. <laughs> well then, no, if, I would rather watch Crunchyroll for free. And there's, there's also a lot of, you know, the, the kaiju genre really works well with film. Like giant robots, giant monsters. Oh, see, I like things. that stuff. That definitely, like, like anything in that, that area could definitely work in live action and be very impressive. Uh, audience, what anime do you think lends itself to a live action film and what deserves to be in that medium? Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.